hi, it's Alicia, and today I'm here with a video where I show that you can have too many books and you cannot read them all as fast as you want to. If you saw my monthly wrap up for April, you would have heard me say that I don't usually haul too many books, and that continues to be true. But last night, I also went to the event that I have been talking about since I started this channel. And the best thing about that event is $2 books. Now technically the books are prizes. You buy a sucker for $2. If you win the grand prize, you get a Kobo or a laptop. But the sorry or loser prize is a book, which to me is better. So I spent a lot of money on that as well. This event uh, was my job, uh, that's what my contract position was for. So I was also told to take some uh, extra books, some free books, ones that I wanted. I try not to because it's a fundraiser for charity um, to raise money to give books to children from low income families. So to me, I mean, I wanted to give as much money as I can and most of the books that I have, uh, have been paid for, I did pay for. Uh, but some of them I didn't, but for the most part I'm happy with the fact that I gave a lot of money. I also won a silent auction, so I have given much of the money that I received from this charity back. So I feel good and also have a giant stack of books. So this video I'm just going to talk about the books that I got on Tuesday night and um, I on my May wrap up video I probably talk about some of the books that I bought because I did buy books this month and now I'm thinking that maybe I do have too many books um which I didn't think I was ever going to say but I I think I have reached that limit now and <laughs> so um these are just the books that I got on Tuesday you'll see me talk about other books um but for right now let's go on to the books that I got for two dollars we were setting up for the event one of the guys on the committee said that I could take a book uh, because I'd seen them for a few weeks now. I've been organizing what books will be donated and used as prizes and I've taken and kept track of all the ones that I really wanted so I knew what ones to get. Now he said I could take some books for free, that's what I got for doing all this, but I felt bad. Again, I want to make sure that I am donating and not just taking things but I did just take one and to begin with <laughs> and that is Himself by Jess Kidd. This book is about a boy who was abandoned and he grows up and goes to this small town and the town all kind of react oddly to him and he's faced with figuring out who he is and the his mother who he has no idea who she is but apparently she's left a pretty big imprint on this town uh, so I think it's I'm I'm interested in it it seems cool um, I really like the cover I think it's a really cute and elegant cover so this was my first pickup of the night and I am very much looking forward to it later in the night after most of my personal work chaos was finished I took money out and limited myself, I said I will get five books. So I donated $10 and I got my five books. And these are the ones that I will talk about. And so the first one that I picked up is Son of a Trickster by Eden Robinson. And uh, I have seen this book around not as often as uh, as himself or some of the other ones that I'm going to talk about, but I have seen it and was very interested in it. Um, the Trickster, which is an indigenous uh, spiritual belief, and I we talked about the Trickster a lot uh, in school at Thunder Bay and a lot of tricksters in literature, and so right away this title really grabbed me and I was super interested in it. And uh, this book is about a boy who really, he doesn't fit in and uh, he's just starting to realize that he's missing time in his life and his grandmother has always kind of called him not human and not fully there. And so he's kind of trying to figure out what the hell is going on with him. And I'm very excited to read this. It looks really cool. I mean, this cover also looks awesome. My second $2 went to Baseball Life Advice 
Living the Game That Saved Me by Stacey May Fowles. So, this book I have wanted for so long. Stacey May Fowles was supposed to come to Pungapalooza. That was our event, by the way. And she couldn't come, so the four books that were supposed to be given to a uh, team, they, we have ping pong teams, there's four players on a team, and authors are the honorary captains of the team, and everybody on their team gets a copy of their book. So that's why we had four copies. That was it, we didn't have any extras, even though I tried to ask for an extra for myself. We didn't get it, but Stacey May Fowles, unfortunately couldn't come and it is unfortunate it would have been really nice for her to have joined us but because she wasn't able to make it her books were put up in added to the games uh kind of span and I had to get it I had to get it I am a huge baseball fan and uh for the Toronto Blue Jays because it's our only Canadian team and they're awesome and so is Stacey Mae Fowles because she's Canadian of course and I'm really excited to read this. So she talks about how baseball has impacted her life, the kind of sexism and boys will be boys attitude around sports in general, but especially baseball because, you know, girls aren't really expected to know sports. Um, and just baseball in general. And I'm really excited for this book and I'll read it and probably talk about it uh, in relation to the Blue Jays who I think are currently losing as I film this, and that's really heartbreaking, but that's why I'm filming this and ignoring the terrible game that is going on. The next book that I picked up was Children of Earth and Sky by Guy Gallagher K. I really hope I said his name right. I feel like that middle name was not said right. Uh, sometimes I should practice these names before I say them out loud, but I don't because that would have been smart, but I did not. So we're just gonna have to hope that I didn't screw it up too badly. So Guy is a fantasy writer and fantasy and sci-fi writers are very rare in Canada. Apparently our market just doesn't support them which sucks because I am a Canadian and I love sci-fi and fantasy. And I've been really feeling like I want to read more fantasy right now. Um, I've gone through a huge haul of um, just life, normal fiction. <laughs> Uh, books which are great but now I'm feeling like I want something more spectacular and that's kind of the reason why I picked this up and because I know that he is a respected fantasy writer um, I don't really fully know what this book is about I'm just kind of hoping that it's good and it looks cool and I've been wanting to pick it up for a while so fingers crossed it's awesome and I'm sure it will be and I'm excited to read it. So the next book is another author that was supposed to come to Pongapalooza but unfortunately couldn't. She was really sick and she wasn't able to make it which is really sucks because I really wanted to meet her but those four books that were supposed to go to the team were once again put out for prizes. So I was able to pick up a copy of her book which I didn't have and that is Saints and Misfits by S.K. Alley. And I am so excited for this book. First of all, this is not what the cover looks like. This is an arc, so uh, it the cover is different. It doesn't matter. I mean, the book is still the book. And I am really excited for this because it is a young adult novel that has a, a Muslim main character. And that is so rare. And I'm so looking forward to it. And the book really struggles and talks about uh, the main character struggles with faith, and family and friends and just is sounds really great and adorable and I follow SK on Twitter and she seems like an awesome person and she is a teacher so I mean she has to I feel like if you're a teacher you inherently have to have a spark of goodness in you which I'm sure she does and I'm really looking forward to reading this and um, the best thing because it's YA it'll probably be read sooner rather than later because I can read it much quicker so looking forward to this. The next book I've already read uh, but I had to get my own copy and that is Kay's Lucky Coin Variety by Anne Y.K. Choi. I read this book on my readathon on Saturday. I had borrowed a copy from work that was sent as a sample and when it was on the table I knew I really really had to get it because I wanted my own copy and Anne Y.K. Choi was there on Tuesday night which was so I got to meet her and she is a 
all around beautiful person. She is so sweet and so nice and just lovely. And unfortunately, I couldn't talk to her as much as I wanted to because I was running around with a, like, a chicken with its head cut off for the beginning of the night as I tried to make sure everything happened okay. So, and then she left by the time I got this book, so I wasn't able to get her to sign it. But I am meeting her for coffee uh, later this month, which I'm super excited about, and she will sign. And uh, so I have my own copy, and I am going to talk about this video probably in my May wrap-up. Um, and I do want to talk about it. I'm not sure if I have enough to say without spoilers to, to warrant a full review. Um, I feel like a full review, uh, to me, like to, for me to talk about it, I feel like I would spoil a lot. So I'm going to kind of keep it brief in my monthly wrap up for what I've read. But uh, for now, this is adorable. And if you're questioning whether or not you should read it, I recommend you read it. And I will tell you more about it at the end of May. So the next book is a kind of a weird pick for me, um, <laughs> and that is The Hatching by Ezekiel Boone. Now I'm sure you can tell by the cover with all of its spider webs that it deals with a spider. <laughs> Apparently a giant spider. It's a horror, weird fantasy novel. I heard about this little book last summer while I was in school and the main thing that really made me want to read this book was the fact that most of the people in my class cringed when they heard it was about a g giant abnormal spider and I was like man that's really cool I have to read it so it was there and I picked it up. I have no idea what to expect and I'm not really a horror book reader. Sometimes you have to read something that's off the beaten path usually and is kind of just without thinking. I mean, I'm pretty sure this book is more of a pop fiction book and that's cool because sometimes I don't want to think uh, too in depth about a book. I just want to read it and be entertained and that's what I'm really hoping this book will do. So, cool book, cool giant spider, what could be wrong? So now I've moved on to my next round of sucker purchases. I bought five and then I decided that I needed four more. Um, I don't know why I didn't just round it up and make it a full $20, but what can you do? I was trying to save $2 for something. The next book I know absolutely nothing about other than I really like the cover and people tell me that it's very good, and that is The Strays by Emily Bitto. Um, don't really know what to say about this book because I don't really know what it's about. Um, but it looks cool, right? There was a guy with me who was like, I heard that's a really good book. It's really beautiful, everyone loves it. And I was like, yeah, I have heard a lot about this book and I have seen it everywhere. So I picked it up because I'm a conformist and I wanna know what everybody reads. So I hope this book pays off because I don't really know what it's about and it could be awful. But I'm thinking if most artsy people like it, I probably will too. So, woo! The uh, book that I picked up, well, one of the four, um, was Ninth City Burning by J. Patrick Black. Um, I didn't know anything about this book going in, but I've really wanted to, uh, I, as I said earlier, I want to read more of sci-fi and fantasy right now. I just feel like I've read a lot about real life and I want to try other things. So this book looked interesting. It's basically about Earth and some aliens get into a war and uh, 100, 500 years later, sorry, 500 years later, they're basically in a war of attrition and a new weapon is coming out and it seems pretty cool. I mean, um, I like the cover. I don't know if you can see that cityscape. Oh, that looks kind of blurry, but it looks really cool and the cover is really soft and uh, I thought it looked interesting. So I'm going to check this out and fingers crossed that it's good. This one, uh, I'm sure all of you have heard a lot about, I know I heard a lot about, and uh, with a movie coming out about another book that she wrote, you're, I'm hearing more about this one again, and that is The Sun is Also a Star by Nicola Yoon. So she wrote Everything Everything, which is the movie right now, and I haven't read it, Everything Everything. Um, but this book uh, looks kind of like just the fluffy YA novel. I'm hoping that I can read it without being bitter. 
which is something that's really hard for me because I know it's all about love. It's kind of, you know, I saw her and everything changed, which usually I'm like, oh, that doesn't happen because I'm a really bitter person and I don't believe in love. But <laughs> I picked this up because I want to be in the know. I want to know what's going on and maybe it can thaw my broken heart and maybe I can just get super into it. So that could happen. And I've heard a lot about it. I want to know. So I picked it up. Um, she's the author. It seems like a really cool person. So I, that's honestly, I feel like for most of these books, I picked it up because I really love the author for just being a person, not even for other writings that they've done. They're just a cool person. And, uh, I have a hard time peeling away an author from their book. It can be really, you know, if they're awesome, why would the book not also be awesome? So that may not be the best strategy for picking books, but I like it, so I'm going to stick with it, and that is why I have this book here. Now I'm moved out of books that I bought with suckers. <laughs> now we are on to um, my next stage, which was winning a silent auction prize. I feel like going in for a silent auction was a little bit of a mistake. I did it slightly as a joke, slightly to be like, that would be funny if I won, and then I won and had to pay back the money that I have been paid by my company. Um, so anyway, I won a matchmaking gift certificate. Don't know what that entails. Don't really know that that was a thing, but I'm gonna do it uh, because I won it, so why not? And I also won a lot of, a huge gift card for a really nice restaurant, so I guess. It was called Cupid Starter Pack, uh, which I think is pretty accurate to my life. That seems pretty, pretty realistic to me. Uh, so I'm gonna stick with it. But it came with this book, um, which is Love by the Book by Melissa Pimentel. And, uh... I mean, it's really cute. I really like the cover. The cover is really cute, but this doesn't really seem like a book that I'm gonna read. Would read. It's uh, very seems very chiclety, um, which is just not something that I uh, I'm into. So I'm probably gonna donate this book to somebody, uh, give it to a friend or someone who will enjoy it because I'm I don't want to keep a book that I'm not, I know I'm not gonna read. Uh, but I will, however, go on my matchmaking dates and go to a restaurant with lots of money that I bought. <laughs> so at the end of the night, uh, we had some leftover books that were supposed to be awarded and uh, were not taken. So I, they let me have first crack at them. So I, I did it because why would I say no to books? People were gone by then. Who was I going to give them to? Um, so the first one I picked up was Birds Art Life by Kaya McClear. Uh, this is, a, she was an author that was there. Her team did take the books. This was a book for something else. Um, and it's kind of, it's a nonfiction about bird watching in Toronto, which seems weird, but I'm really interested in it. I've heard beautiful things about it, and this cover just looks beautiful. So I am looking forward to this book, uh, and I will read it. So the next one um, was also part of that pack, and it is called, it is Sweetland by Michael Crummy. And I heard really good things about this book. Uh, a girl in my program last summer read this book and she said it was actually, she was really good. Um, so I'm really interested in reading it. So, because obviously I like reading all good books. So, uh, this one is on the list. I don't know what else to say. It's a, I think it's about a family. I forget. I was, I was explained it last summer and I forget because I, if it didn't happen like a couple weeks ago by now, it's, it's gone. It's straight out of my brain. So the last book that was part of that package of Birds Art Life and Sweetland was Angel Catbird to Castle Catula by Margaret Atwood. So, um, this is another book. It was in the pack of the other two and I really wanted the other two. There was also a mug. It was cute, but, um, I... 
I know I'm probably like a piece of Canada dies that I see this, but I don't read Margaret Atwood. Um, I have my own personal issues with some of the things that Margaret Atwood has supported, and um, I just personally don't want to take up space um, on my bookshelf, so um, I will probably be donating this as well. It is a graphic novel, um, so there's the inside if anyone's interested. I don't want to buy the spine though because I'm giving it away. So, um, yeah, that's the end. I should have ended on a book that I was actually going to read, but I didn't because I wanted to do an order and that's what the order was. Uh, <laughs> and then we left and we got Kenny's crumbs. Man, this camera is really out of focus. Ooh. These are really good, very good. That's it for this video. I had lots of fun getting all of these books and now I have to read them all. I already have books, I've already bought books this month, so I don't know how I'm gonna read all these books. Uh, it's a good thing my contract's up soon. I mean, not in the fact that I will no longer have a job, but in the fact that I will have time to read all of these books and remember when I did have a job and I was worthwhile to somebody. Anyway, that's it for me for today. I will be back on Monday or late Sunday night with another video that will be awesome and will probably be about books that I've read as opposed to books that I am just aspiring to read one day. So have a great day or night or whenever you are watching this and I will speak to you later. Bye.